a huge shout out to Peter Yoon who has been maintaining and developing the source code for Android on Raspberry Pi for a long time now and uh, his github uh, you can check out his github page welcome back guys to another video and i'm extremely excited to present uh, another build uh, of android for the raspberry pi we have uh, many improvements in both cpu and gpu performance so first let's start off with the cpu performance we have uh, defaulted to uh, an uh, on demand governor for our cpu so that means uh, there's no more force start going on the config.txt uh, the multi-core setup would scale uh, very well and we would actually have uh, the CPU going to 1.2 gigahertz when it needs that much power and then falling back to uh, 600 megahertz when it doesn't we do have uh, the system monitor app demonstrating that so whenever i'm moving things around it does default to 1.2 gigahertz and then uh, comes back to 600 megahertz when it doesn't really need to do anything else uh, to uh, actually uh, show its use uh, show it in uh, in a working situation let's open up Kodi and play a video now the video as uh, most of you know is being rendered on the cpu as the video decoder part of the gpu is not present yet so the video is being uh, rendered on the uh, cpu now from previous versions right off you can tell that this is actually pretty smooth and now let's go ahead and open up system info while the video is playing back and you can clearly see that all of the cores are being utilized properly uh, without any issues like the last time there was the 25 percent issue uh, wherein the wherein only the first core was being properly utilized and others were sitting idle so there that is uh, no more the condition uh, we do have on demand cpu governor and scaling and it works extremely well it also shows up on Geekbench. So here's a before and after a result of a Geekbench. And as you can see, uh, there's a big difference between uh, the single core and the multi-core performance for the very same reason. Let's move on to the GPU uh, improvements. Our RGB issues have been solved. So no more uh, weird colors. Uh, especially in Angry Birds so let's open up Angry Birds and as you can see it it actually works beautifully you can uh, it's smooth you can play it really well uh, there's no issue with uh, playing Angry Birds uh, now for our next game we actually have Crossy Roads it is a 3d game but at the same time it's quite light on the hardware so it also works uh, and performs really great uh, and uh, you can keep playing it for hours no issues there now next I have uh, something a bit more heavier we have asphalt nitro it is the smaller cousin of um, asphalt 8 now asphalt 8 is a very very demanding game now asphalt nitro is actually made for devices that cannot handle uh, very heavy graphics so let's uh, open that app up and as you can see initially the game actually performs quite okay it's playable you can navigate around the menu you can spin the cars around and do all that sort of stuff but as soon as you uh, click play it will take some time to load and then at the end it will crash your system which in turn will reboot so that is something uh, that is not working on pro probably a uh, issue from the uh, GPU driver side uh, something like a memory leak I guess I'm not really uh, an expert on these things so um and thank you so much for watching guys I will see you in the next one